Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be packing my makeup for my honeymoon. Let's get straight to the point. This bag that I am using is from Primark. It is their PS Pro range. It's a very similar version to a professional makeup bag, as you can see. Um, it's black, it's about this big. So it's quite, it's, you know, it's, it's fairly big, but it's not huge. And they do have a larger size. I think this is perfect for sort of a week 10 days even two weeks away kind of trip and it was about 10 pounds it's got a strap which you can make longer and it's also got a handle which is what makes it very very handy <laughs> handy okay no so on the inside you have got one large compartment here and it's fairly deep if you see against my finger it's pretty deep and then on the inside part here you've got a flap which you can open up and that's easily wipeable. Here you can put obviously pencils, brushes, um, lip products. I like the Velcro there. And then there's a really handy zip compartment here. So the cool thing about having all of this space is it also comes with these inserts and it has got the inserts already put in. And I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to clean them. What is awesome about these is you can rearrange them to fit your knees and to fit your makeup. First thing I'm going to be taking is my Hourglass palette. It was in my recent beauty favourites. It is super, super gorgeous as you can see. And I think it just has everything I need. It's got my sort of setting powders, my blushes, my bronzer. I particularly love this row here. But I want to get more use out of this row in this holiday. And as you can see, it's got a very large mirror. So that's the first thing I'm going to be putting in. And that way you can see what kind of size you need and adjust it to fit your products because obviously you don't want the makeup products moving around. Okay, so we've got a bit of space here, but we're going to be filling that up anyway, so that should be fine. Now, when it comes to bases, I'm kind of struggling because there's so many that I would like to take. But I'm definitely going to be taking the NARS Velvet Skin Tint, and this is called SPF 30 PA++++. And the reason why I'm taking this is because I've got about half the tube left. And it's a really beautiful base. The colour matches me very, very well. And it's also matte in finish. So that means that it will hopefully withstand the heat. I'm just going to put that here. It's a bit of an awkward size, but it fits quite nicely in there. And then the next base I'm going to be taking is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, which again, I spoke about in my favourites video. It's just so beautiful for a glowy finish. I'm a bit dubious about taking this in the heat. I'm not sure how that will work, but perhaps for like a date night or the evening time, this does not have SPF in it and so it's going to photograph really well and obviously when you're on holiday you want to be taking lots of photos. These are of course my under eye weapons of choice, the Makeup Revolution Peach Corrector, this is a new tube and then I'm going to take two of these because it's my are my all-time favourites and I can't see myself doing my makeup without them in the shade 07 for under the eyes and 08 for covering up any blemishes or on the days where I don't really want to be wearing foundation all over my skin but I just want some coverage. The pressed powder of choice is of course going to be Charlotte Tilbury, who does not want to be looking flawless on their holiday. This is actually the one that I smashed by accident. I actually dropped it in my Dior video and it broke and fell. But you know what? I've spent so much money on that powder, I'm not going to throw away even a single dust of it. I'm going to use it all up. <laughs> and then this again is for my favourites. I... I'm sorry if you guys are expecting lots of new makeup, but I like to use up my makeup really well now. And this is a strobing highlighter cream. I'm not sure if it has, a, oh yes, in the shade Champagne. You kind of see a demo of it in my favorite video. I just think this is gonna be fantastic for use as a highlighter, but also just uh, all over the skin with SPF. Okay, moving on to the torso. In this compartment, I'm going to put a pair of tweezers for lash application and some lash glue. This one is the House of Lashes Lash Glue, which is a black one. And it's um it's not my all-time favorite, but to be honest, I don't have a totally favorite reliable lash glue yet. So I've been using this one, it's okay. I also, of course, have to pack a sharpener. This is just the basic body shop one. And then a little manicure kit, which I got from Shein. It's just got the nail cutters, nail files, and the scissors, which are super handy for any eyelashes. I'm going to be taking my Hourglass Loose Powder as a baking product because I can't imagine being in the heat and not really properly setting my makeup. And I'm also going to be taking the 
Burham Mama by the Balm, which is a really gorgeous contour shade. I feel like I'm going to make a bit more effort with my makeup on the evenings when I'm on holiday. I don't normally contour, but I will for the holiday sometimes. Now for eyebrows, I'm going to take three different products because you go on these options. The first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. I've had this for so long, like literally years, honestly, guys, and I still just keep it revived by putting a bit of the Essence Mixing Solution in it every few months when it gets dry. I'm also going to be taking the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade 2, I believe. And then this is a fairly new product to my collection. It's the LA Girl Shady Slim Shady Brow Pencil, which I love. It's got a little spoolie on the end. And that's just for days when I want to do a very, very quick brow. So I've got my options here. And with this, of course, will be the Primark Brow Brush, which I don't have now because I'm going to be using it. I use it on the daily, but that will be patched as well. Now for my highlighter, I'm actually only going to take the one powder one. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. It's beautiful. It's a perfect gold highlighter. As you can see, I've got a lot of use out of it and I absolutely adore it. I'm also going to be taking the Ilamasco Pigment in the shade Ore. This is just such a go-to of mine. I use it in my Selena Gomez makeup look, which I will link down below. And yet another single eyeshadow product. This is a Dose of Colors Block Party Eyeshadow. Look how stunning it is, guys. This is in the shade Heart of Gold. How stunning. My two mascaras of choice for this trip are the Essence Eye Heart Extreme, mainly because I know I can rely on this guy. It's going to go in there. And then this is that new one from Primark, which I picked up, the False Lash Queen Mascara, which, by the way, I tried out the other day, and it is not bad at all. That is what the one looks like. For my lashes, I'm going to take two pairs. These are the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes, which I really, really like for evening time. They are wispy at the ends, as you can see, and they're quite thick looking. And then the top ones here are my favourite brand, which I, of course, always link below. And they are super, super inexpensive. And these ones I really like for sort of daytime glam. They fit my eyes perfectly. I've used them before. They're not too thick, and they're very flutter at the ends. They're not too long as well. So for a daytime glam and a more evening glam. I'm packing a bit too much, I think. But anyway, these are the ColourPop Super Shock Nova Liquid Shadows. This shade is so stunning. I like these to use as a base or as a topper. And then this is the Stila Liquid Glitter. That is the shade Smoky Storm. That's just one swipe. As you can see, it adds such a beautiful amount of glitter. Now there is a difference. This one is more metallic. This one's more glittery. So I'll be taking them both. And that's my sort of special occasion makeup done, I think. I'm going to try not to go overboard with the lip products, but I do like to have a selection to choose from, obviously depending on the day of the occasion. This is the shade Truffle by Dose of Colours. It is a really beautiful pinky nude shade. It definitely is nude on me, um, and it is a bit more on the pink side, so I do like it. This is my all-time favourite lip line ever, Rimmel Spice. It's a very close shade to my lip, natural lip colour, so I think it is... Perfect for slightly over-defining the lips and really, really lasting well. And then this is another Dose of Colours lip product. It's not a liquid lipstick exactly. It's kind of like a satin lipstick by Desi and Katie. You can see it there. It's called My Main and it is a really gorgeous brownie nude shade. I'm going to come back to lip products, but I'm going to quickly put in the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C6. If I do want to do any sort of cut eye creases, this shade is perfect for really brightening up the lid. In here, I've already got my eyebrow pencil. I'm going to put the ColourPop lip liner in the shade 951. I've swatched it here. As you can see, it's quite a deep lip colour. And the reason why I'm going to put that in there is because I am going to be packing some brighter colours with me and I feel like sometimes, even if you don't have a bright lip colour, just having a slightly darker lip line works really well. Okay, first up we have the shade Calypso. It's basically my favourite all-time go-to lip colour. I'm going to try not to wear this too much, but I'm making no promises. It is just the best thing ever. 
Next we have She Said and Bad Habit. She Said is a ultra satin lip, super comfortable to wear, very bright, uh, got a ready sort of almost raspberry sort of tone. And then this color here, Bad Habit, is an ultra matte lip. I've had it for ages. I've always loved the shade, but I've never really worn it. And I feel like this is a perfect excuse when it's hot and sunny, sometimes you just want a colorful lip to wear. The next two, my final two, this is a Morphe shade in the colour Peanut. Now this is kind of like my everyday go-to look here. I'm hoping I'm not going to wear it too much air, but it is a beautiful, rich, orangey shade which complements olive skin tones so well. And then one gloss that I'm taking, again it was in my March favourites, it is the Aquarius Lip Gloss. Not sticky, beautiful colour and just really nice for everyday. Okay, and then lastly for the eyes, I'm going to take three eyeliners, well, actually four. I'm going to carry my all-time favourite, which I talked about in that video. This one I'm going to put in here, and then I'm going to take a green pencil liner and a brown one. I'm purposely not taking black because I feel like black can look a little bit too dramatic. Okay, and last but not least, it's my eyeshadow palette of choice. And of course, it's gonna be a bunch of single shadows. So I just thought, let me dig into my huge single shadow collection and pick out and make up my own palette. This is a Makeup Forever empty palette case and it is the medium size. And I have put together da -da 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 -da, these shadows. I feel like I have a really, really nice mix of crease shades, brow bone shade there, lots of browns and reds, which are my sort of go-to colors. Two or three pops of colors here, got that yellow, that blue, that green, so that for that real holiday vibe. Then these shades here, this is such a stunning golden shade. This is Havoc by Makeup Geek here. It's a duochrome shade. We've got some darker shades to add some definition and some really nice all over the lid shades. This one in particular is what I use a lot. It is by ABH. I have actually used about half of it and it's in the shade Amber. And I honestly adore this because it is just so beautiful. I am probably gonna hit pan on that at some point. And what I love about this whole case is that the eyeshadow Palette fits perfectly in here. You can zip it up and it is pretty secure. And that is all the makeup I'm gonna be taking with me to Bali. Yes, it's quite a lot, but what can I say? Your girl loves the makeup. I want my options. I've got a good range of options there. Thought I would just quickly show you what I'm gonna have in a small little bag that will be on my sort of day bag all the time with me. So I'm going to be taking the Primer PS Sun Protect SPF 50 Lip Balm. I'm also gonna be taking a clean version of the Givenchy Sponge. I'm gonna wash this. This is gonna be my base product applicator of choice. It's perfect for foundation, concealer, powder, everything. The lip product I'm going to be carrying around with me is this Huda Beauty mini liquid lipstick in the shade Bombshell, a beautiful pink shade, my second favourite colour from her. And then I'll probably will have a concealer as well as that Charlotte Tilbury powder that you saw. So these products will be with me all the time. The rest of the stuff I can just use for my makeup bag. The other thing I wanted to quickly mention is the SPF I'll be using. This is the same one that I featured on my channel a while ago. Um, it's by a Korean brand, I'm gonna link it down below. And this is what I'll be using if I'm wearing makeup. On the days where I'm not wearing much makeup, I will be wearing a Tropic one by Malibu. This is SPF 50, this one is SPF 30 and it's got a yellow tone to it. This one's SPF 50. I've not tried this. I'm hoping that my skin does okay with it. My skin is being horrible right now, so I really don't know. But I feel like this will be really good just for the days where I'm not wearing much makeup. And it is quite a small size as well, so it can fit in your handbag easily and good for traveling. For body care, I picked up this really lovely little kit from eBay. It's literally a travel kit. It's so flat and handy. As you can see, it's got a hook on it. And on the front it just says travel. It's got a Velcro casing here. Again, it's like very easy to wipe clean. And then inside here, this part here kind of becomes 3D. So you can add full size products in if you wanted to or smaller versions. So here is where we'll be keeping our toothbrushes and our toothpaste, that sort of thing. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna put in this bag are these Primark Bare Face Argan Oil Facial Cleansing Wipes. I'm not the biggest fan of facial wipes, however, I do think it is nice to have on holiday, especially if it's really, really hot and you just want to use it as a first step to take your makeup off with. 
actually really roomy in here guys like look how much space there is i'm then gonna take two body washes these are the clean on me and the sugar crush we are not staying in hotels we're staying in villas so i don't think they come provided with this sort of thing and i know that my body and my skin like these two they're like soap and glory and they are pretty good travel size companions for my cleansers i'm going to be taking the omravitsa this is their cream cleanser i believe more cream cleanser it was a free sample which is awesome and my skin does really like it and i'm also going to be taking this mini size of the pixie glow mud cleanser i'm planning to use this up for sure and, and make a good dent in this they are both nice cleansers and they are very kind for skin i'm also going to be taking this simple eye makeup remover this is a small version I don't know how well this works, but I, I definitely will need one of these because I hate using just wipes. They don't ever do the job for me. Another sample of a product I've never used before. This is the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. This little pot from Primark contains my favourite serum of the moment, which is a Cordley one. The Vino Perfect one. I will be filling this up and then adding this into my bag. And then, of course, I will be taking some Savlon Antiseptic Cream because you never know when you might get bitten. As much as I would love to take some more AHA products, I just will not have the space to carry them all. So I'm going to be taking the Sarah Chapman Mini Size of the Overnight Facial. I don't really know how I feel about this yet. I haven't seen much of a difference, but hopefully I'll be able to tell in Holland. And finally, I'm going to be packing the Cordley instant detox mask this is my absolute favorite and i feel like because i'm going for longer than a week i definitely will want to use a mask at least once or twice i have no idea how my skin is going to react out in the different climate and yeah i just think it's a good idea to carry something that you know your skin absolutely loves and now aside from shampoo that's pretty much it for now because i feel like i've got everything i need in this front compartment here i'm just going to put some cotton pads to use for the eye makeup remover and that is about it. The nice thing about this hook is it can be hung on the back of any bathroom door or any uh, any cupboard door in the bathroom that you're using. So you have all your products in one place. And again, it's pretty nice and compact and doesn't take up too much space. So that is pretty much what I'm going to take with me on holiday. Now, just a few little bits that I picked up from Boots today. I got the Boots Sultan Protect and Moisturize SPF 50 plus. I'm also going to be taking along with me the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. I find that this does quite a good job at making your makeup last. Then I'm going to be taking the Kurtukura Original Antibacterial Hand Gel, which kills 99% of bacteria. Always a must for when you are traveling. I also grabbed some Jungle Formula Maximum Protection Mosquito Spray. This is about £10, so it really wasn't cheap, but I'm hoping that it's going to last us enough for our holiday. And then I got some Boots Handy Refreshing Wipes. These There are 40 in this pack, so that should be more than enough for the holiday. I know that when you're in hot countries, you just want to have something there that will help you feel more refreshed. And it's not always easy to find a place to wash your hands in. So these will, should come in really handy for that. And then finally, last but not least, we have got some elastoplast family pack plasters, because you just never know. Hopefully you don't have to use these. <laughs> um... I was looking for the, you know, the actual brand for these, but they are all sold out. But these diarrhea relief instant melt things, again, hopefully you don't have to use them. <laughs> Nurofen, um, Express, and then we've got some hauls for any sore throats. And that is about it. Those will go somewhere in the travel bag. I hope you found this video somewhat interesting or useful. If you did, let me know what your travel essentials are down below. And yeah, stay tuned for some more hauls. Probably, I think before this video, um, we had a Primark haul, and after this video, we'll have a sheet in haul. And so there's a lot of hauling going on here. And then, of course, after that, there will be a ton of vlogs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.